mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at sa lahat ng nanonood sa RHTV, lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. It was the great American actress and humanitarian Audrey Hepburn who said, As you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, the other for helping others. Para sa maraming alagad ng sining, the art of giving back comes in many ways. Kadalasan, ginagawa ito sa pamamagitan ng pagtulong sa mga kabataang may interes sa iba't ibang larangan ng sining. Subalit, walang kakayahang tustusan ang pag-aaral nito. Sa hapong ito, makakasama natin ang kinatawan ng isang charitable foundation na itinatag ng isang angkan na nakilala sa larangan ng sining at teknolohiya. Bilang pasasalamat sa mga biyayang kanilang tinanggap, hangarin nilang tumulong sa mga young Filipino talents na abutin din ang kanilang mga pangarap sa pamamagitan ng edukasyon. Kaya't huwag kayong aalis kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan ang naghihintay sa ating lahat kasama ang world-class pianist at trustee ng Sunico Foundation for Arts and Technology Incorporated na si Dr. Raul Sunico. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art pagkatapos lamang ng ilang paalala. Ang Sunico Foundation for Arts and Technology Incorporated ay itinatag noong 2002 bilang isang non-profit foundation ng pamilya nina Hilario Sunico, Teodoro Sunico at Julio Sunico, pawang mga ina po ni Chan Huang Ko, isang Chino na nanirahan sa Pilipinas bilang panday at siyang gumawa ng ilan sa mga kampanang ginagamit pa ng mga simbahan sa Binondo hanggang sa ngayon. Dahil maraming henerasyon na ng angkan ng mga Sunico mula sa Binondo, Mundo ang nakilala sa sining at teknolohiya, nagpa siya ang tatlong pamilya na tumulong sa mga kabataang Pilipino na nais pumasok sa mga larangang ito sa pamamagitan ng academic at technical scholarship programs na pinopondohan mula sa mga donasyon at iba't ibang fundraising activities. Sa kasalukuyan, dalawang scholar ng Sunico Foundation ang nakatapos na mula sa UP College of Fine Arts at sa UP College of Music. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng art to art sa world-class pianist at kinatawan ng Sunico Foundation na si Dr. Raul Sunico. Magandang hapon Dr. Sunico and welcome back to Art to Art. Magandang hapon Lisa and thank you so much for the opportunity of being in your wonderful program. Oh, thank you. Thank you also for uh, gracing our program again. And may I call you Raul? Siyempre naman. Sige, kasi Dr. Sunico, medyo parang wow. Eh, bago na, bago hindi, pa naman. Hindi ko maabot. <laughs> bago naman na umpisa yung programa mo, Raul at Lisa lang naman Oo, tayo. Oo nga, naman. okay. Eh, so, ilang beses na kayong na-guest um, na namin dito sa Art to Art. Hmm. Pero always, it's been, you know, as uh, dating Pangulo ng CCP o kaya um, as, of course, your uh, as, a, as a pianist, as an artist. Pero ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang advocacy ng inyong pamilya, which is the Sunico, Sunico. Foundation for yes. Arts and Technology. Yes, that's right. And I understand na magkakaroon ng fundraising concert kayo sa January 26. Yes. Pero bago natin pag-usapan yung concert, hmm. tell us about the Sunico Foundation. Well, it was organized way back in 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, it was organized not by my immediate family, but mm -hmm. our clan. Mm -hmm. uh, there were three families na descendants ng isang, uh, uh, isang um, immigrant from China. Mm -hmm. Actually, ang apelido daw namin before was not Suniko, but mm -hmm. Chen Wang Ko. Mm -hmm. uh, siguro in lang nung great-great-great-grandparent ko yung mm -hmm. Suniko mm -hmm. for easier pronunciation mm -hmm. and easier mm -hmm. memory. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, noong 2002, we established this foundation to help support young scholars from arts and technology. Mm -hmm. We started with two scholars from the Philippine High School for the Arts, mm -hmm. mga graduating students, mm -hmm. and two of them, Uh, in fact, one already finished, well, two of them already finished, isang mm -hmm. voice major, 
Saka isang visual arts major. Mm. Uh, we went into hiatus for a while mm -hmm. dahil nagkaroon ng inactivity and some of the members were quite busy. Mm -hmm. But they decided to uh, sort of relaunch mm -hmm. the foundation again mm -hmm. para to continue with our advocacy. Mm -hmm. So this concert on January 26 is supposed to help raise funds for that particular purpose. I see. Okay. And uh, why, you know, bakit uh, mga estudyante in, sa... La, larangan ng sining at teknolohiya ang napili ninyong tulungan? Well, for arts, although ako lang naman Obvious ang artist, naman. Sa, <laughs> ako lang naman ang artist arts, sa family no? namin, uh -oh. sa kalayan namin. Sa technology, mm -hmm. many of my my other uh, relatives mm -hmm. were also in these fields. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Anyway, yung arts and technology naman, come to think of it, it involves uh, already a very wide area mm -hmm. of expertise. Mm -hmm. no? So, mm -hmm. kahit na i-confine mo lang sa arts mm -hmm. o i-confine mo lang sa technology, mm -hmm. marami dyan mga potential mm -hmm. potential uh, recipients mm -hmm. of this uh, grant that we mm -hmm. are uh, That's offering. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, para, ay, kasi um, hindi naman natin alam kung sino-sino um, yung mga miyembro ng Suniko clan. No? So, mm -hmm. can you tell us kung sino-sino yung mga Nag miembro ng Suniko clan na nag-excel sa field of arts and technology? Well, uh, ang president namin ngayon is my first cousin, mm -hmm. uh, Renato Suniko. He has been president of Lafarge mm -hmm. and has been involved, had been involved before with Amon Trading Corporation of the mm -hmm. Montinola family and Republic Cement also. Uh, we have with us the vice president, si Chingay Diaz Lagdameo, mm -hmm. who is also a Suniko mm -hmm. through her mother. Uh, she is now presently the uh, chairperson of DINAMSIA, National mm -hmm. Music Competition for Young Artists. Mm -hmm. She is the executive director of the Metro Manila Concert Orchestra mm -hmm. and had been chairman of the board before of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. okay. So, mm -hmm. and although the other members are, well, prominent members are not members of the board, mm -hmm. still they have representatives in their particular family branches, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. si Marixi Rufino Prieto, mm -hmm. who the honor of uh, inquirer mm -hmm. uh, there's my niece by my first cousin si maria reza of mm -hmm. rappler mm -hmm. there's former supreme court justice adolf ascuna mm -hmm. uh, i think he's president now of the philippine judicial academy mm -hmm. and there's mr raben suniko mm -hmm. is in the literary field mm -hmm. uh, those are some of uh, our members that have been quite uh, familiar with the other people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diyos ko, dami-dami nyo palang mga ano, high achievers in the Suniko <laughs> clan. <laughs> eh, malaki, malaki din ang clan eh. Although the Suniko family is not, eh, the Suniko name is not a common name. No? Mm -hmm. um, Siyempre, dahil nag-branch out na yan, mm -hmm. marami na rin mga, mga nag-excel in their particular fields. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, ano yung proseso ng pagbibigay ng mga scholarships? How do you select the scholars and you know, how do they qualify for a scholarship? Well, right now, we have to establish new rules. Since as mm -hmm. I said earlier, nagkano kami ng hiatus. Mm -hmm. Nung pinili namin yung dalawang scholars from the Philippine High School for the Arts, mm -hmm. um, we selected the graduating students. Mm -hmm. So we interviewed uh, around six or seven of them mm -hmm. upon the recommendation of the director of the Philippine High School for the Arts, mm -hmm. so yung mga outstanding students. Mm -hmm. And based on that, pumili kami ng dalawa, mm -hmm. one at a time. Uh, this time, um, sinabi ko na siguro, uh, as most uh, scholarships are, uh, based on not only the talent, mm -hmm. but also the need. Mm -hmm. So, okay. it's, it's not a unique kind of scholarship program, mm -hmm. except that now we are ready to give out scholarships mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Pero di ba sa um, Philippine High School for the Arts, mga scholars na sila? Ng Scholar ng high school. Ah, ang aming scholarship is for college. So, ang... Ang Suniko Foundation gives scholarships for college. For college. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, sino yung mga namimili ng kurso ng at paaralan ng papasuka nila? Ang Suniko Foundation din ba? Or? Sila mismo. Ah, sila mismo. Oh. Okay. So, when we interview them, mm -hmm. although siguro part ng aming questioning was uh, where do they intend to go to college, mm -hmm. it is not a factor mm -hmm. for our decision. Mm -hmm. The uh, the criteria there would would really be on the scholastic performance mm -hmm. while they are in high school. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, uh, merong rules, no? 
as a SUNY ko. Meron ding rules, ano. like siyempre may mga kailangang grade requirements, mm-hmm. yes. na walang bagsak uh, or something. To keep the scholarship. Okay. Yes, to keep uh-huh. the scholarship. Kasi ang kolehiyo uh, apat na taon niya ng pag-aaral. Apat o lima, sa music lima. na lima pa. <laughs> 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 sa amin ng eskwela, misan more than five pa. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so uh, papano pinopondohan ng foundation? Well, before, nung nag-umpisa pa lang kami, mm-hmm. we, we contributed uh, a membership fee among mm-hmm. the board. Mm-hmm. Yun lang, pero siyempre, we could not extract naman mm-hmm. a regular annual membership fee dahil wala naman kami masyadong activity. Mm-hmm. We're hoping that we can generate enough funds now to, to at least start the ball rolling again. Mm-hmm. And as for the future, well, depende sa sa mga projects na i-initiate ng foundation outside mm-hmm. of my event on January 26. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we would have other events, fundraising or otherwise, mm-hmm. you know, to, to help uh, sustain mm-hmm. the financial viability of the mm-hmm. foundation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa Sunico Foundation at sa gaganaping fundraising concert ni Dr. Raul Sunico dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panuorin sa mga tanghalan at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating arts calendar. Sa musika, inihahandog ng Philippine Women's University School of Music ang concert ng Batikang Paraguayan guitarist na si Fabio Rodriguez sa January 23, alas 3 ng hapon sa PWU School of Music Recital Hall, Taft Avenue, Manila. Tutugtugin niya ang mga piyesa ni na Agustin Barrios Mangore at Roland Dians. Kamakailan lamang ay inilunsad ni Rodriguez ang isang tribute album na pinamagatang homenage a Land Dians. Siya ay kasalukuyang nagtuturo ng music sa National University of Asuncion at sa Pulrodi Ensemble sa direksyon ni Berta Rojas. Sa Siling Biswal, inihahandog ng Silverlands ang group exhibition na pinamagatang Watchfire kung saan tampok ang mga obra ni na Tessie Perry John, John Perry John at Joey De Castro ng Pilipinas, Shozo Michikawa ng Japan at Alvin Tan Tech Heng ng Singapore. Mga kinikilalang nakapag-ambag na ng makabulu ang kontribusyon sa pag-usbong ng contemporary ceramics in Asia. Nagbukas noong January 12, ang exhibit ay makikita hanggang February 9. Ang Silver Lens ay matatagpuan sa 2263 Don Chino Roses Avenue Extension, Makati City. Para sa karagdagang detalye, mag-email sa info at silverlensgalleries.com o tumawag sa 816-0044. Inihahandog ng Alliance Frances de Mani sa pakikipagtulungan ng Center Intermons at ng 1335 Mabini Gallery ang solo art exhibition ni Dexter C na pinamagatang Afterworld Obliteration. Si C ang nagwagi ng Philippine Artist Residency Program 2017. Gamit ang kanyang estilo, pinagsasama-sama ni C sa kanyang mga obra ang mga Persian rugs, painting at ink and pen drawings. Sa France, lumikha siya ng mga obrang may temang karahasan at terorismo na nakaaapekto sa bansang France at Pilipinas. Ang kanyang mga guhit ay hango sa tradisyon ng mga Filipino indigenous groups na hinahaluan din niya ng Christian symbolism. Nagbukas noong January 17, ang exhibit ay makikita hanggang February 23. Ang Alliance Frances de Mani ay matatagpuan sa 209 Nicanor Garcia, Makati City. Para sa karagdagang detalye, mag-email sa nfuentes at alliance.ph Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balirina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang premiadong pianista at trustee ng Sunico Foundation na si Dr. Raul Sunico. So Raul, tell us about the fundraising concert gaganapin na sa Sabado. No? 
uh, January 26, that's a Saturday, mm -hmm. sa Cultural Center Main Theater, mm -hmm. and it will start at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Ang program ko doon ay yung apat na piano concerto ni Sergei Rachmaninoff. Mm -hmm. May konting kahabaan yun dahil apat na concerto yun. Mm -hmm. Siguro performing time nun will be uh, over two hours. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we opt to start at 6 o'clock p.m. Yes, maganda yung 6 o'clock start. No? Mm -hmm. Kahit na Sabado. <laughs> <laughs> kahit na Sabado. Oo, okay. oh. yes. Actually, kahit kami sa Balay Manila, nag-uumpisa na kami ng 6 o'clock oh, ng Sabado true. dahil mas nakakaingan yung uh, sa audience na pumunta sa teatro dahil Totoo rin. alam nilang hindi sila masyadong gagabihin Totoo rin. especially with the traffic situation dito sa yes, ating yes, area yes, no okay. mahirap umuwi yes, mm -mm, mm -mm. okay so um it's a rare chance to hear all of Rachmaninoff's four concertos Yes, actually, when I did this the first time, mm -hmm. noong 2003, mm -hmm. um, yung eskwela ko sa New York, the Juilliard School, even wrote me to congratulate me because mm -hmm. at that time, uh, I guess nobody else had done it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. It's not that nobody could do it, but mm -hmm. nobody has done it. Mm -hmm. no? uh, and this time, uh, so far, wala pa rin kaming nakikitang record na na may, ginawa, may gumawa na rin mm -hmm. ganito. Mm -hmm. Usually kasi, yung mga Rachmaninoff concerto, you only play one, mm -hmm. during one concert. Mm -hmm. So my reason before, and my reason also now, for performing all four in one evening, mm -hmm. is to make the audiences more familiar with all the concertos of Rachmaninoff. Mm -hmm. Ayun kasi, uh, isa lang din ang pinakakilala, yung number two. Mm -hmm. uh, yun yung kung saan nagaling yung Full Moon and Empty Arms, mm -hmm. tsaka yung Kebari Manilo na All By Myself, mm -hmm. doon kinuha yung mga theme. Mm -hmm. Yung number three is a little more popular also, kanya lang medyo may kabigatan. Mm -hmm. Number one and four are the least popular. So, Saan galing yung theme, theme ng uh, Somewhere in Time? Ah yes, that's uh, Rachmaninoff also, Rachmaninoff but it's theme. not one of his concerti. It's ah, the Rhapsody okay. on a Theme of Paganini. I see. Yun I yung see. 18th variation okay. niya. Yeah. Okay. Also a Rachmaninoff. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. kung hindi pa nga pagod yung mga tao, iniisip ko gawin yung lima. <laughs> <laughs> Kanya lang, <laughs> hindi na rin ako masyadong bata, parang, baka, baka mag-collapse na lang ako na. <laughs> so, playing all four concertos, hindi ba parang, um, parang that's dancing all four ballets of Tchaikovsky? Yes, I remember. Just I, I'm, I'm sure I'm following your footsteps, <laughs> you know, when, when I try to achieve this feat. It's uh, inspired by your own Aha. mission. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, um, I'm sure meron namang um, intervals in ah, between, na. no? Okay. Merong intermission, of course, the regular 15-20 mm -hmm. minute intermission. Mm -hmm. uh, but each piece is roughly between 30 to 40 minutes long. Mm -hmm. So the first two, uh, ang break ko doon be between the two would be mm -hmm. just siguro, one minute, two minutes mm -hmm. para to go out and in again. Mm -hmm. And then 20 minute break and mm -hmm. then the next two again, similarly uh, with that same interval. Mm -hmm. And uh, i perform mo ito in in its uh, order one two three and four. No, uh, I'm ending with the three, uh -huh. so the four will be before the three. Simply because uh, the three I, for me is the most climactic of them all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think it, it's better to end the program with the third mm -hmm. concerto. Okay. I have two conductors, mm -hmm. Maestro Yoshikazu Fukumura, who is the principal conductor of the Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra, mm -hmm. will conduct the first two. Mm -hmm. And after intermission, Maestro Hermine Hildo Ranera, the mm -hmm. resident conductor of mm -hmm. the PPO, will conduct three and four. So kahit yung conductor sumuko na mag <laughs> <laughs> na mag-conduct ng apat tuloy-tuloy no. Pero well, ikaw hindi susuka. Uh, well, I admire the one. musicians kasi <laughs> nandoon din sila, <laughs> nandoon din sila for the whole duration. Yes, and this is of course the Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra. Yes. Okay. Yes. How many musicians will be uh, playing with you? Um, I know that the regular roster of the Philippine Philharmonic is about 65 people. Mm -hmm. But for special pieces that require more, maybe mm -hmm. they will go as high as 80. Mm -hmm. Normally, sa mga regular concerts ng PPO, mm -hmm. uh, depende sa repertoire na pinili ng conductor, mm -hmm. uh, if they need more musicians, we, we used to get casual, we call it uh, program musicians, mm -hmm. those people who are not regular high risk of the PPO, mm -hmm. but who, are, who only play for certain occasions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I understand ang... ang uh, Ang titulo ng concerto is a rack 
concert. Oo nga, medyo uh, pan yun kasi people will think it's an R-O-C-K concert. Uh -huh, but actually, yes. it's R-A-C-H. Yes, it's a rock concert. Uh -huh. So, um, the all the proceeds of a rock concert is going to go to the Sunico Foundation? Yes, for this scholarship program. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. So, um, as a, you, you mentioned earlier na itong event na ito ay no other pianist has attempted. Uh, as far as we know, uh, no other pianist has attempted to do it in one night. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that many other pianists can do it. <laughs> but I guess I'm the only crazy one. The, like he used okay. to be the only crazy one probably. <laughs> uh -oh. Dancing so many ballets and so yes. five numbers in one concert. Yes, okay. When normally it's two <laughs> yeah. or three oh, at nine. the most. Okay, so bilang professional pianist, um, you know, alam namin na napakarami ninyong uh, na nagawa na fundraising concerts, both local and international, for a variety of charities and advocacy. So, what um, personal satisfaction do you derive when you create music for a cause? Well, uh, creating music for a cause has been probably the uh, mission of 95% of my concerts. It's always for a cause. Mm -hmm. Bihira naman yung concert na purely cultural lang. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy and fulfilled that at least yung mga performances ko uh, nakakatulong sa ibang tao, whether mm -hmm. they be fellow artists, fellow musicians, or simply mga, mga people who have been unfortunately mm -hmm. financially mm -hmm. challenged or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, marami na ding mga <coughs> mga organizations where I perform for, including yung mga nurses, mm -hmm. the doctors, mm -hmm. mga, sa mga provinces. I get particular satisfaction performing sa provinces natin mm -hmm. because in many of them, especially the more far-flung ones, uh, bihirang bihira yung mga concert. Mm -hmm. So, and you could see from the reaction of the audience mm -hmm. that people are really hungry for culture and the arts. Yeah. Unfortunately, the opportunities are not always there mm -hmm. for artists to come or mm -hmm. artists to be invited. Mm -hmm. So, napakagandang mission ito para sa atin, sa, sa iyo, mm -hmm. sa akin, mm -hmm. na I'm sure ginagawa mo rin yan sa mga provinces, that we bring culture to the mm -hmm. provinces. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi ba, as a professional pianist, mahirap uh, pumunta sa mga probinsya dahil walang piano doon? Well, these are the challenges sa provinces. Mm -hmm. Uh, normally, wala silang grand piano, mm -hmm. so upright piano lang, mm -hmm. and minsan nga wala pang piano tuner. Mm -hmm. um, sa akin naman, well, I, I know how it is. Mm -hmm. I, I remember Mr. Hilo Lopez Caballao. No? Mm -hmm. He used to do this before mm -hmm. with, with his violin. He mm -hmm. used to play, to perform even at cockpits daw kasi mm -hmm. walang auditorium. Mm -hmm. uh, napakagandang uh, mission kasi yung ganun. You bring art to the people no matter what facilities are available. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, limitado rin naman kung sobra namang bulok-bulok ng facility. Siyempre, medyo magde-decline din naman tayo because uh -huh. ayaw naman natin na ma-affect din yung quality ng ating performance. Well, tumutugtog ka, biglang merong jeepney na dadaan, then may tricycle na dadaan, o kami tilaok ng manok. Okay lang yung may jeepney. <laughs> Ang problema lang nun, minsan, nung tumutugtog ako minsan, yung paanong piano, uh -huh. nag ano, na, na give way. Ah, oh, okay. So, sinasalo, ganyan, misa. <laughs> Misa naman, ano, yung mga ayaw tumugtog ng tiklado, yung uh -huh. dumidikit kasi sa humidity. Mm -hmm. eh nagkataon nun, I had another performance the same evening. Mm -hmm. So what I told the tuner, pakialis nga natin yung cover mm -hmm. para na-expose na yung, mga, yung mga hammers. Mm -hmm. So for my night concert, what mm -hmm. I did was, after playing the keys, mm -hmm. I, I had to push back the... Oh ano, my lord! So ang itsura ko nun, siguro parang epileptic. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, those are things that uh, uh -huh. are within not not mm -hmm. within your control. I'm sure hindi naman yun mangyayari sa Arak concert, <laughs> no? Kasi parang ang dami-dami mo nang ang tutugtugin. Kung ipo-push back mo pa yung mga oh, keys, uh, kawawa ka naman. <laughs> <laughs> Edi part na rin yun ang aking exercise today. <laughs> okay. So mabalik tayo sa Zunico Foundation. Mm -hmm. Um Ano yung parang greatest wish ninyo after, well, or the highest hopes for your SUNICO Foundation scholars after they finish their college education? Well, actually, yung scholarship naman is, uh, normally, it, it ends after the, the particular student has finished his or her college studies. Mm -mm. 
uh, unless we are so financially well off that we can continue to provide for them for graduate work mm -hmm. or for their career, mm -hmm. uh, I guess for now, we, we just stop at the college level. Mm -hmm. uh, yun mga tao naman, they are supposed to be responsible after the college uh, level mm -hmm. to find their own niche, mm -hmm. how to, how to uh, pursue further their interests, mm -hmm. whether to study further mm -hmm. or to seek employment mm -hmm. or some of them uh, nagkakaroon na ng opportunity while mm -hmm. in college, so na-employ na rin sila. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for now, I think the Sunica Foundation can be just limited to the collegiate level. Okay, okay. Okay, so a rock concert, um, it's starting at 6 p.m. Yes. on Saturday, January 26. Yes. And saan sila pwedeng bumili ng tickets? Well, the usual outlets are uh, CCP, mm -hmm. Box Office, Ticket World, mm -hmm. and uh, some of our members, also our board members, mm -hmm. have tickets uh, that they want to have in their possession first mm -hmm. in case some of their friends would like to avail. Mm -hmm. And alam naman natin with the traffic, people just won't go to any Ticket World mm -hmm. outlet or CCP just to buy tickets with yes. the traffic situation. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes. May I take this occasion also to thank our committee chairperson for the mm -hmm. concert. This mm -hmm. is uh, Mrs. Isabel Reyes Juan mm -hmm. and Mrs. Lynn Ilusorio Bildner. Mm -hmm. So they have volunteered their services mm -hmm. to be uh, co-chairman, mm -hmm. co-chairperson of the concert committee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Well, Raul, congratulations. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, of course, we wish you uh, more power and sana marami talagang raise na funds for the Sunico Foundation. Thank you so it's much. Such a noble for cause. The support. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Okay. A rock concert, January 26, 6 p.m. in the CCP Main Theater. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino. Thank you.